What's going on guys and your good friend Fury Pixel? welcome to episode 6 of Tech Room Setups. This is why we show the most creative, productive and unique setups. The guests we have for this 6 episode are Criso, Jamar Wilson, Jonas Molino, Tom and Cody. So let's the TRS begin. This first setup is from Jonas Molino and it's the combination of greatness and minimalist. Something really cool is that the desk he's using is a custom build made by him and actually you can watch how he made it going into his YouTube channel, the one who will be linked on the description with all the list of the setup specs. Talking about the cable management, this is one of the most cleanest setups I ever have in TRS. I really like the red, black and white team and that two posters of Star Wars combine perfect with the setup team, giving more personality to the setup. But going on into his PC specs, we are going to find the powerful MSI GTX 970, 16GB of RAM, HyperX Fury Black and an Intel Core i7 4790 all inside of one of my favorite case ever, the sexy NCXT H440 Red. It's a perfect PC for gaming or just do some hard work. For his peripherals he's using the Razer Black Widow Chroma, the Rocket Cone Hellfire Mouse, the beautiful Sennheiser HD 558 headphones, the Audio-Technica AT2035 microphone, the Logitech C506 to run some speakers. Then, dude, you have a lot of cool stuff in there. I don't know what's the model of these monitors, but I believe this is a 23 and 24 Dell monitors, which looks really nice on this setup. The next barrel station is from Cody, and it's one of the most unique and sexy setups I ever saw. With that incredible collection of action figures and posters, I really love how it looks everything. Almost on any corner you can find great stuff and we can see that he's a really big fan of Marvel series. Inside of his PC he's rocking a 8350 AMD, 8GB of RAM and a GTX Titan X. All connected to his four 27 inch ASUS monitors, the ones I don't have the model but make this setup looks awesome. He also have a massive TV on the left of his setup in case he want to do some gaming or just watch some movies. For his peripherals he's using the Razer Naga mouse, the Window Maker keyboard with the Nostromo gamepad, the Audio Technica A50S and the Blue Snowball microphone which looks awesome on that base. Uh, overall this is a great and unique barrel station. What's up guys, Tommy, and I make technology videos for the YouTube channel Tom J. I've been invited to share my setup on the show, so let's briefly check it out. First and foremost, the main goal of my setup is to keep it as minimal as possible, but still providing the tools needed to make my videos. As you can see on the desk, I have a Samsung 4K monitor, the Bayer Dynamics DT990 Pro headphones, a USB-C phone dock, and the Apple Magic Keyboard paired with the Performance MX mouse. Off to the side of that, I have the MacBook Pro, which I use when I'm editing videos, and the PlayStation 4. If you want to check out a more in-depth video on my setup, which also goes over the PC I use, that can be found on my channel, which you can find in the description. Anyway guys, I have to give a big thank you to Fury Pixel for hosting me on this episode, and I'll catch you over on my channel. G'day everyone, it's Chris O from TechCubed, and today I'll be showing you guys through my computer gaming and workstation setup that I use for my YouTube channel. First and foremost we have my monitor which is an LG 27 inch IPS display with a resolution of 1080p. Sitting next to my monitor is the Rode NT USB microphone that I use for all my voiceovers which is also mounted on top of the Rode microphone boom arm. As a desktop companion I have a little Pac-Man ghost off to the side of my microphone which is also holding a pair of Philips wireless Bluetooth headphones. I have a set of Logitech THX speakers sitting below my monitor and as for the rest of the peripherals I use the Cooler Master CM Storm Mech keyboard and my mouse of choice is the Logitech G502 Proteus Core Gaming Mouse. 
On the right hand side of the setup is my PC which has a lot of custom and never before seen features that I have personally come up with and manufactured myself. Inside my white NZXT H440 case we have an ASUS X99 Deluxe 3.1 motherboard, 32GB of G-Skill Ripjaw RAM running at 2133Hz, a 120GB Crucial SSD for Windows along with a 1TB WD Black for mass storage. Some cool innovations I've created are the graphics card anti-sagging bracket that I custom made. This bracket screws directly into the rear I.O. and holds the heavy graphics card perfectly in a horizontal position. Pretty cool right? And also cooling the system is two of the Cooler Master Neptune 240M AIO cooler spliced into a custom dual radiator water cooling loop, which works extremely well and is cooling my Intel 5930K that is overclocked to 4.5 GHz. For my desk, I bought some carbon wrap online to give this desk that sexy black carbon looking accent and I've also installed some LED strips along the back of the desk to give some colour and personality to the whole setup. This was actually an old dining table, but with these few subtle changes it has given it a really clean and sleek look which is exactly what I was looking for. Overall I am in love with my setup, especially the fact that I nearly customise every single thing about it, especially the parts inside the PC. I'm really glad how well the graphics card bracket worked out, and I'm really happy with how the cooling system worked with splicing two AIO coolers. I hope you guys enjoyed my setup, and if you want to see how I made all the custom mods and other interesting stuff, get subscribed to my channel for for some more videos on some more awesome tech. Yeah, what up everybody? So today I'm be showing you guys my gaming room slash office slash just everything. So this is one out of four and let's get to it. So as you see, this is my 55 inch, I think it's a Vizio Smart TV. And uh, um, over here I have my controllers on a little rack. And what I did was I used the, um, the guitar holder racks the wall mounts for the guitar. They, I think they're only like two to three dollars. And I got one of those, and then you just screw them into the wall, put your controller on top. And they do have a controller holder on Amazon.com, which is about, I think you get two for like 15 bucks. So I saved a lot of money just by buying the guitar holders, because they look the same. So, and over here I have my B Sub router, my Lynx Keys, uh, Lynx Keys gaming router. Whatever, I don't know how you pronounce it. That's how I pronounce it. Yeah, who gets fun. Over here I have my Wii U pad. I put a little case over it, you know, because the kids is clumsy. And I don't want to get any marks or damages on it, so. This is my Nemesis PC with the chrome finish. With the LED grill. And with this PC, the best thing I like about this PC is if you if you open it right here. It's a button in the inside. Press the button, the front panel change colors. So that's a, one of the reasons I love this PC. And inside I have the temperature gauge and the 3.0 slots, which I needed more because I was uh, copying so many hard drives and I wanted three to four hard drives going at once, so I had to upgrade. But it has a little shiny chrome finish, it says Nemesis. In the inside, I have a two gigabyte uh, graphic card. I forgot what brand it is. I don't know if I can get in there. I have 32 gigabytes worth of RAM. In all together hard drive space, I have about eight terabytes. Trust me, I need all the space I could get. I got so many different systems and so many games downloaded on this PC. It don't make any sense. But uh, over here, to turn my PC on, instead of opening the door right here and pressing the power button, which you can press right here, or you can open it and press another power button on the inside, I have this right here. This is connected to my PC, and if you press the power button, turn your computer on or off, and yeah. I had it under the table to make it look like some 007 type shit, but I put it on the original Xbox. And right here is my original Xbox Halo Edition. This is modded with about 10,000 games total. 22 different systems on one console. PlayStation 1, 64, the original Xbox game, just everything you can think of, I have it on my system. And over here I have my GameCube, of course. Don't play it, but it just looked nice. So I have my Beats uh, Studio Wireless. I use that for my PS4, uh, my PC, just everything. Right here is my Nintendo Wii. And this is modded with a 2TB hard drive, loaded with at least 8,000 games, 500 movies and TV shows, 
and 740 Wii and GameCube games. So I do mod and I do PayPal if you guys are interested. Just let me know. But anyway, I have my Wii U right here. And the only game we probably play on here, I think, is uh, just Smash Brothers. So that's the only game, and that's where we have our tournaments. We play Smash Brothers, or we playing Tekken, or just Dragon Ball Z. Just something, something good to play. And right here, I have my modded PS2. This one has over 300 PS2 games. And I'm using a 750 gig uh, IDE hard drive. So that's the only hard drives that I fit in the back right here. So if you have a slim, you can mod it, but you will have to use an um, external hard drive which has a lot of issues so if you're interested in getting your PS2 modded get you an IDE hard drive so right here is my original PS3 I have so many games installed on here but I just don't use it because most of the time which I'm just on my PS4 which brings me to my Dark Vader edition PlayStation 4 I have uh, Fallout I have just everything you can think of the good games I have on here and I still haven't got a chance to play the Star Wars game that came with it. I heard it wasn't that good, but, you know, there go my ghost right here. Every time you walk by or if the light shines on it, it turns on. So right now I have it in demo mode, so it won't talk because it does talk to you. So, yeah. This is my um, Star Wars Edition Xbox 360 console. Came with the gold controller. If you press the power button. It does make noise. Press it again. Real nice. Dark Vader don't even do shit. Don't even breathe, but hey, it looks nice. Over here, I have my Juggernaut Edition fridge that came with Black Ops 3. The only reason why I got the game, only for this, because the game is just fucking terrible. Definitely when I got like a six year old jetpacking over me, killing me without no strategy. You know, so only reason why I got it is because of this right here. And I'm going to show you guys my Call of Duty collection on the next tape. So if you open this up right here, it does make noise. Nothing's in there. This is only for display. I think it got three different sounds. See? Real nice. And over here, I have my modded PSP, which I should have turned it on, but it takes... A lot of times just to start the folder up that has all the games because I think it has over 5,000 games, 250 are PSP and the rest is just a bunch of emulators. Um, and this is my uh, 3DS Nintendo version and this one is modded with the card and this one has about 3,000 games, 3DS games, DSi games, DS games, 64, just everything on there. And this is my keyboard. I forgot what brand this was. This is the backup keyboard because my gold keyboard, my son wasted some drinks on it and I needed a keyboard ASAP. So this is just a backup keyboard. So and this is my mouse right here. And the best thing about this mouse, if you leave it still, it changed colors from blue, red, green, yellow, just everything. And the keyboard I have for this mouse was gold. So I'm going to get another one, but I have to make this video ASAP. So this is my cube. Just looks nice. And um, I've been getting a lot of comments about people saying, oh yeah, it's, it's too cluttered and all that stuff. Basically, they want my layout to be something that they already seen before. The white table, three screens, you know. That's the thing about it. This is my stuff I paid for. So basically I'm going to do what the hell I want to do and so this is what you guys see right here. So I hope you guys like. This is one out of four. And that was the sixth episode of Tech Room Serums. I hope you enjoyed it as well like me. Thank you very much to all the guests who was in there. And remember guys if you want to be on the next TRS it's really simple. The only thing you need to do is send me one high quality picture to the email trs at furypixel.com. I will reply you the most faster possible and let you know if you get accepted or denied. And like I always say, 
everybody can be on TRS. The only thing will happen if you get denied is I will reply you and let you know what you need to do to get accepted on your next submission. If you get accepted, I will reply you and let you know the steps you need to follow to send me the content. Remember guys, if you like the video, don't forget to show your support, click into the happy hand, share and subscribe. That will help me a lot and you won't miss any of my future content. And your good friend Fury Pixel, see you next time.